a blurring filter, if that makes sense. Y'all look at my t-shirt that my barber made me. Y'all know that's my baby daddy. Come back in shirt. You might wanna smell like an island gal. It could all be so simple. But you rather make it wrong. What's up, boo? I know, a lot has happened. Don't judge me. Okay. Well, actually, a lot has not happened. The only thing that happened was I went to work. And I had one day off and I didn't talk to y'all because I didn't do nothing and it was raining all day and I watched Vampire Diaries. And then I went to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and now it's Thursday. We literally, we touched down in Houston at 1245. It is 251. I have showered. Hell, I ain't bring nothing home but me and y'all and my other electronics. I have showered. I washed my hair yesterday, but I just blew it out. If you do not have the blow dryer, the comb, the brush, blow dryer, whatever it's called. It, I have one linked in my Amazon storefront. It is the bomb, I'm telling y'all, for your blowouts. Um, but I'm getting my hair redone. Oh, wait. I ain't even seen y'all since I took my hair out, have I? Yeah. I took my hair out the other night at work because I decided I want a new braids. I bought the hair that McKenna uses. It was a whole process. It was the stores in Dallas. But I didn't trust that the hair would get here before I got home. So I ordered the hair online. I set it for pickup purchase. I had my friend that live in Dallas to go pick the hair up. But the store was closed on the day that she went to go pick the hair up. So she called and then nobody answered. But then somebody texted her back. They said, we closed. We only open every other Saturday. She said, okay, well, when are you open again so that I can pick it up? Because I got to send it to my friend in Houston. The lady that owns the shop. I got to remember to write her a review. She literally met my friend on her off day, the day that her shop was closed. She met her and gave her that hair. So shout out to her because she didn't have to do that. So I got the hair. My friend sent it to Houston. And then I'm getting my hair done at the house. A lot of you probably know Ty. And if you don't, um, I'm going to link her stuff in the description box. I'll link her Instagram, her TikTok, and her YouTube. She has a YouTube channel. She's here in Houston. She does braid. Some of y'all probably know Ty because y'all follow her on her different social medias. But shout out to Ty because Ty is coming here to do my hair. And depending on what time Ty finishes with my hair, me and Ebony are going to Happy Hour. I'm hoping she finished in time for us to go to Happy Hour. But if she don't, it's cool. But I really want to go to happy hour. So I think I'm going to run the rest of this vlog. Because I look ridiculous. I just look ridiculous. I'll pick y'all back up when I get here. What you say, Shaw? Clearly. Oh, fine. You gonna say something? Right. Are you? You, you don't have anything to say. Are you back? You back? You left. Where'd you go? Eyelash and nail piece of mascara on. It is Friday.
Friday. Happy Remy Friday. Today is April the 19th. We are back in Houston. It was a long night. It took 12 hours to do my hair, which I really like my hair. They're like the perfect size. I just realized today though, like we put a lot of curly pieces, but now I wish I had more curly pieces. I think I'm gonna go get a crochet hook and put more so it'll just be like it re looks really good in the back but I want it to be even more full at the top and I will plug the the place that I got the curly pieces from because I got two bundles of I feel like the 22 inch and it's so much hair in those bundles it's like I got two bundles right and each bundle had three little mini bundles in it I have two of the mini bundles left so I technically use one whole bundle and just one mini bundle in the second one so when I get my hair done again all I need to do is buy one bundle because I had so much hair left over I really like this hair this is the uh, the curly hair is from the same place that McKenna Walker gets her curly hair from for her boho braids like it's full but it's not as full as McKenna's because I feel like McKenna must be using all the damn hair in her bundles and I didn't use all the hair but yeah that's the only thing like I just want it fuller up here so I'm gonna probably get me a crochet hook and um throw some more up in there because YouTube and TikTok then showed me how to do that but yeah so I just got my nails done as you saw Stephanie is gone Oh, I can't remember if I told y'all, but her husband got a new job, and they moved. So I, I, I do, I do. yeah, she gone. So I, Ryan did my nails, which she trained Ryan, and so this was the first time that anybody has ever done my nails, and I honestly cannot tell you how long. Like, I can't. I don't remember the last time somebody done my nails and it wasn't Stephanie like years years probably five six years um but yes Ryan did them and all I got was something plain we ain't get no designs because we got to test the waters yo you know like this is gonna be a good trial run because we got to go back to the North Pole next week and we got three weeks left in the contract Go ahead, girl. She's out here with her heels on. I inspired to be like you. She is shopping with the heels on. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, bitch. Yeah. And throwing it. Um, and I'm out here in my sundress and sandals. But yes, we just got a little milky. Hope y'all can see that white. Just plain. I got them short because they're gonna grow out. They grow so fast. But yeah, just plain milky white i guess technically the um what's the opi it's kind of like snow bunny is it snow bunny by opi yeah it's like it's not white white but that's what we got and then i got a french on my toes so if this lasts then when we come back you know we may get us a little design with actually i may get an ombre when i come back next time it's really what i'm feeling like but anyway I need to run in the liquor store because I need to get my brother bro, brother I need to get my brother a bottle of red wine. If you guys like sweet red wines, comment down below because my brother just started drinking, but he's not drinking liquor. He's literally only drinking sweet red wines. So if you guys have a sweet red wine recommendation, leave it down below. Because he likes Stella Black. And Stella Black, Ebony called it the church wine. <laughs> but that's what he likes. So something along those lines. So I'm going to go get him a bottle tonight for Remy Friday. I'm going to get a little paint. A small bottle of Remy. So me and my barber can do our traditional Remy Friday shot. Because that's what we do when I have appointments on Fridays. And I left my big bottle at the house. So I'm just, since I had to get the wine for my brother, I might as well just get that little bottle. And then me and him can take our shots after my haircut. And then I don't know what else we're going to do 
anterior rim and friday later but that is what is on the agenda for now so yeah welcome back welcome if you're new we got a bunch of new people thank you welcome thank you for joining the fam um you know we're 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 live we get a little lit over here sometimes we do a whole bunch of nothing but sometimes we do a whole lot of shit over here so i hope you enjoy yourself feel free chit chat talk to me talk to the other people in the comment section you know we're real lovey dovey over here thank you for joining again boo things all right let's get let i wonder if they got it's friday they usually be having the table set up with the alcohol you know what they call it not alcohol trials what is it what is it called the what they be having a little table set up try what what is it called samples yeah the little alcohol samples so let's go in here and see if we can get us a good little sample of some beverage for free Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta wait there, uh, see, right? 
Oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? Because it's already, it's like it's already locked. Mm-hmm. Mm Damn. Thank you, Cole. <laughs> Appreciate you, girl. <laughs> Did I, was I in recording? Yes. Only because I had already hit the damn button. You didn't do nothing. Uh-oh, hey, Ryan. Yeah. One for you. Appreciate that. Appreciate Bye. that. Put me back in. Y'all need this right here. This one, this is coming right here. Oh, I... Oh, mm -hmm. Wait a minute. What kind of Cooper Rose is this? Yeah. Right, right? I'll take that. Thank you, Wayne. They all you. To the right, to the right. Okay, what you just... Ooh. We ain't been in the kitchen on the pot in a minute. We back in the kitchen. And you on the pot. I mean, for those of you that are new here, y'all don't know what I'm talking about, but... The tripods never give what the tripods are supposed to give. So when I'm at home, and this is usually my spot because I'm always in the kitchen, whether I'm cooking, eating, or looking for something to eat, I put y'all in the pot so that y'all ain't looking up at my freaking chin. So today is, where's all my cellular charging? It's got to be the 23rd. I think it's April. It's Wednesday, April 23rd. Is it 24th? Because I fly out tomorrow. Okay, I can't remember what we last talked about. I'm pretty sure it was yesterday when I was out and about. I can't remember if I told y'all. If I did, then I'll just delete this part so that I don't be repeating myself. But I changed my flight. Like, we were supposed to go back this morning, get back to the North Pole, get our groceries chill, make our dinner because we have to work the next three days. But I just couldn't do it. I could not do it. I needed one more day. <clears throat> So I paid the $70 to change my freaking flight because the flight cost $70 more. So I sucked it up, I paid the $70, I changed my flight to tomorrow. So we will fly out in the morning at a ridiculous hour of 5 a.m., which means we board at 4.30 a.m., which means I probably won't sleep because that's usually the time of the morning that I go to sleep. So we're gonna board, fly back to the North Pole, probably land around 12 15 12 30 drive the hour and a half back to the house just to get ready to go to work like at this point depending on the time i don't even know if i'm going to go back to the house like i may just literally go straight to work because we got to be at work at three however even if i was late no one's going to care as long as i say hey i'm be a little late i haven't figured that part out yet so but we'll get there so after today whatever happens in this vlog will be the end of the vlog until we start the next one, which probably won't start until Sunday. Mind you, today is Wednesday. We're going to work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then be off Sunday. And then, believe it or not, we got two weeks left. After today, or after this week, we only got two weeks left in the contract. It will be done. And then, we're going to come back home. Fingers, elbows, elbows, fingers, elbows knees all prayers to whomever it is that you pray to i pray to god and i'm praying that he let me get this position that i applied for yesterday i'm pretty sure i told y'all about it what are you doing why why are you over there like that that's gonna drive me crazy when i come in it. i didn't put any water on it today like whatever it's doing is what it's doing after i woke up i didn't put no water we're not taming I mean, because contrary to popular belief, traditionally, boho braids are supposed to be somewhat messy looking. I mean, boho. Anyway, I'm going to let them do their thing. So if you're wondering why they may look crazy, I don't even know if they look crazy. But that's why, because I ain't put no water on it. Anyway, what was I I don't remember. But yeah, we got two weeks left. <laughs> And if I get this position, we will definitely be here at least to November, which will end right on time because, you know, my birthday is November the 5th and we turn 40. And we really, 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 really got to start narrowing it down to where we're going. Like, I don't even care what we do once we get there, but we got to pick where we're going. I think I'm going to send the dates out to the girls I should really do that this week because we're like six, seven months out. Candace has been asking me since Christmas <laughs> where we're going. Um, yeah, she just asked me last week and I just blinked my eyelashes at her. So, yeah, 
I can narrow the days down this week and then I'm going to let y'all help me decide where we going. Whether it's a poll in the community tab, which if you don't have your notifications on, please put your notifications on so that you know when I post videos but also like i be in that community tab like because that's where the majority of my followers are like some of y'all follow me on instagram like shout out to misha shout out to nicole c um ju like it's a few of y'all that actually follow me on instagram but the majority of y'all don't follow me on instagram you know to each his own i would love to have you over there but most of you follow me over here so make sure your notifications are on so that you can chit chat with me in that community tab because i be over there talking about stuff and sometimes i be needing y'all to talk back to me asap okay okay so yeah i think we may do something in the community tab once we narrow it down feel free to go ahead and throw some places in the comment section and if it's somewhere that you have been, tell me where you stayed. Like if it was a resort or if you did an Airbnb. And if it's not anywhere that you have stayed, then tell me because like maybe it's on your bucket list and it may be somewhere that I haven't thought of yet because y'all might just be picking the place where I'm going. I got my new passport back. Yeah. They didn't revamp the entire passport. But I finally got that back. Remember I sent it off in January. Just got it back. Last week when I got home, it actually came in the mail that day. So like the 17th or the 18th, it actually came back. And I didn't realize they gave you the, the old passport back too. Like they sent it back separately. But of course you can't use it because it's expired. But So yeah, I'm itching to put a stamp on it. Like I don't even know if the passport is going to make it to November. Because I really want to put a stamp on it. But I really just want to go somewhere because I ain't been nowhere in a really long time. That too. I don't really know. So we're going to get ready and go eat with the girls our traditional nicole is leaving again dinner <laughs> and then i got some packages that i'm gonna open up for y'all not a lot just a few things and then whatever little wind down situation is gonna be because it's our last night at home so get your purse get your cell phone get your lip gloss your cell phone charger your apple pay and let's go i'm back because i i got like a whiff of myself after i turned the camera off and i was like Come back and share. You might want to smell like an island gal. Because that's what I feel like I smell like. So, the show. The Soul Janeiro 71. Um, I feel like it's 62. I feel like 62. Is this? Is it this one? No. Maybe 71 is the original. Maybe 62 has the pistachio in it. Maybe 71. 71 might be the original. Anyway caramel caramelized vanilla and macadamia okay um blah blah oh lord y'all i'm getting old caramelized vanilla sea salt toasted macadamia nut white chocolate tonka bean and coconut blossom i think people be sleeping on this people be sleeping on this because one they don't want to pay for it because it is it ain't cheap but it ain't expensive for a body spray but these all smell the majority i'm not gonna say there's a vibe for everybody in this collection um this one is my vibe 62 is my vibe those are usually the only ones that I really, 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 really like. There isn't, I think the yellow one maybe I kind of like. I can't remember for sure. But this one in 62, bomb. Eats down every time. Summertime, wintertime, fall, autumn. You know, if you have autumn here in Houston, we don't we don't have that season. Um, but anyway, I have this on and I, you know how I do. I was coughing, even in my hair. And then I have this, which is the MFK, but it's, aqua universalis maybe i don't even know if y'all can see that but i hope you can so and this one smells like oop, where did it go probably on y'all where is it going this smells like fresh clean windows open beach outside clean 
fresh, crisp air coming through your house. You got the windows open, the white linen curtains are blowing. Like that's what this smell like. Compare it with this. Fresh, clean, crisp island girl is what I'm smelling like today. So. Push P. Yeah, push P. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. Uh -huh. Corners in the paddock gave my peace. Push P. Cop no drama for my peace. We don't want no peace. Got you by the What else did I get? It was something else that I got that I already took out of the packaging. <sighs> when you get when you get old, guys, your memory just go. Hold on. There was something else that I got. Oh, hold. Okay, so this is what I got during the Sephora VIB sale. I got the YSL eyelash mascara. This mascara. And I got like the blackest black, I feel like. Anyway, this is a YSL eyelash. I got the black. And now, I don't even know. Can you see them eyelashes right here? I don't really have eyelashes because God gave them to my brother. Why? I don't know because he don't care about them. But, I mean, eat my eyelid women's multivitamin and i honestly 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 do feel like it's helping my hair grow and specifically my eyelashes i've never had this many eyelashes in my entire life and they have never been this long and then when i put this mascara on top of it it's like i don't even need a freaking eyelash now is that an exaggeration yes because i like eyelashes but I'm okay with my eyelashes and this mascara now if I don't feel like putting a falsy on. So if you are somebody who already has like good full eyelashes, like um, anybody watch Octa Octa Octavia? Octavia, I feel like it's Octavia B. If anybody watches her, she already has like good eyelashes. So then when she puts a good mascara on, she literally doesn't freaking need eyelash like a eyelash strip or extensions because she has good eyelashes good full thick long eyelashes and then when she put mascara on they just pop so if you're looking for a good one now i'm gonna tell you why it sells so it's gonna cost a nice little pinty but i got that i got whew, finally i got the topicals lip gloss i have not tried it don't know if I'm gonna wipe the lip gloss I own off just to put this on. May put it on a little bit later. But we finally got it. All the girls have been talking about it. It's supposed to be the bomb. Jude says she's had multiple tubes of this. This shit better not disappoint. And y'all know I'm I'm gonna always try a lip gloss because I always need it. And I'm gonna use it. Even if it ain't good, I'm gonna use it because I didn't pay for it. Because I don't believe in dry lips, I don't. And I'm going to tell you how I know if it's good or not. I'm going to take it to work with me. Because, like, my everyday lip gloss is the, is the Bath and Body Works lip gloss. Like, I have those tubes everywhere. Like, where is it? At? Just going to make me have to be a lot. Like, see, this is the drawer that I throw my keys in. But what if I'm in the kitchen and I got dry lips? What if somebody knock at the door and I'm in here with dry lips? Got one right in the drawer right here. Um, 
There's one in all my bags. There's one in my work bag. There's one in all my purses. I literally, literally have four or five brand new ones on my nightstand because I got them when they was on sale, which I'm going to give one or two away when I do the 3K giveaway. So don't worry. You're going to get some lip gloss too. But yes, it, this is the applicator, which is pretty much the same. But a lot of people say that it's like sticky. And that doesn't necessarily bother me if it's actually hydrating. Now, you can't just be sticky. See how I just lied, how I just said I wasn't going to put it on? Couldn't help myself. Okay, listen. I don't like sticky, non-hydrating, like sticky and just sit on your lips and don't do nothing i hate those and then don't be the lip gloss to put the little white stuff on your lips y'all gonna be sick of me in lip gloss it's definitely sticky let's see i either feel or smell some peppermint For dry, parched lips. Oh yeah, mint. Read, Nicole. Mint lip balm. The people claim it's hydrating and shiny. Stand by for update later. Next, I got these are the dew drops. Remember a few vlogs ago when I drove all the way to Sephora to get the glow recipe and I got the toner and I got two toners and I was supposed to get the toner and the serum. And I only got one, so I finally got the serum. However, I don't think I'm gonna take the serum back with me to the North Pole. I think I'm gonna leave it here because my skin seems to be doing fine. Just putting the toner on, like I put the toner on and then I put my face moisturizer on and it seems to be fine i'm gonna leave the dew drops niacinamide dew drops i'm gonna leave them here like this on top of the toner it like it like it's like a blurring filter if that makes sense it literally like matches your face but it completely like fills your pores in it's like a smoothing filter like that's all i got to give like try it out if you don't like it you know you can always give it back to sephora and they will give you your money back next remember i was rambling about the bonnet that they bought the bonnets like after i left the last time so then i had to buy a bonnet when i was at home well i opened up the bonnets because now i'm gonna have to keep a travel bonnet and a house bonnet so i kept there was a pink one and a black one i already have a black one so I took the pink one out, which the pink one is what I've been wearing here. The black one is going to go in y'all's 3K giveaway. Next, I got my new Pura refill scents for the month. This is bamboo. Um, I don't even know how to smell it. This is just like grown and sexy scent. And then this one is a new one, but I like the notes. It has notes of jasmine, cedarwood, lime, sandalwood, oak moss, and uh, musk. So I feel like that's giving grown and sexy house scent vibes too. So I'm probably not going to use these until I get back because I don't want them to just be here sitting at my house and going. So yeah, there's that. Next, I got this from work. This is not my home because you know I got two jobs here. But one is like my home hospital. The other one is like I get it how I live. Whenever they let me go, I go. They sent me a brand new this is like a one year um, thank you celebration for working with us because I just got on with them last year. Like you can hear me talking, but you can't see my mouth. But yeah, they sent me a cute little duffel bag. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, probably give it to my mama because <laughs> I, I don't need another duffel bag. So mama, if you want it, you can have it, girl. Next. <sighs> These are shower caddies. 
because I have so many products that are on the side of my tub. And I've been watching the girl. First off, I've always wanted some because all the TikTok shower girls have caddies all like on their walls in their shower and they just look so cute and organized. And I finally got some. So I may put those up tonight. We will see. And because this is getting extra long. The last thing I got is I ordered these from, this is a line from one of my coworkers here in Houston. She has her own line of, I don't even know how you call it, like <clears throat> waist trainers, um, undergarments. What do you call those? Body shapewear, yeah. She has her own line of women's shapewear. And I ordered her waist trainer because she freaking always has one on. And sis is snatched. Now, granted, she be in the gym getting it. And I ain't like that. But we got to start somewhere. And they were on sale. I will link these down below for anyone that's looking for a waist trainer. And because they were buy one, get one half off. Were they buy one, get one half off? Anyway, they were. I asked her what size do she use and she says she fluctuates between um i feel like she said a large and an extra large so since they would buy one get one half off i just got those two sizes so i'm gonna put one on that way i can give you somewhat of a reference if you decide you want to wear them and <clears throat> she says she pretty much wears hers she wears it to work because she said it does help with her posture plus it just gives her extra time to have it on cinch her waist and if she sweats then she burns extra fat in that area while she's at work and she always wear one when she's working out she said when during her cycle she has to wear the bigger size so that's why she fluctuates between the two so i'm gonna put one on and we'll be right back since i talked to y'all i folded some clothes i got everything ready to go all of my electronics are charged i put the little sticky part up in the shower and i'm just gonna leave the sticky parts up so that they can be nice and secure so by the time i come back of course it will be secure and then i'll put the basket so we won't even y'all won't even get to see that until i get back hell i won't get to see it until i get back and yeah that's it so i love you guys thank you for hanging out with me and i'll see y'all in a few hours when we start to talk you better on the first date i should have said what's wrong in the first place i don't cut you off